Hi, my name is Jose, and uh, my YouTube channel is called Arroyo JK, and this is the tinkering division. I like to uh, fix stuff, build, and uh, do a lot of fun things. A friend of mine gave me a power wheelchair. Uh, one of the motors isn't working, so I need to see if I can fix it. And uh, if I do fix it, if I'm able to, I'm going to use it to make a a robot or, or or remote control or or control it remotely with a remote control or a uh, what do you call that a Wii a Wii Nucha uh, connected to a Arduino and that way I can put my put the uh, Wii Nucha in my pocket control it and nobody sees me walking around with a big one of those big uh, RC remote controls with the antenna and stuff like that and uh, this is what it looks like that it's the power wheelchair it's I believe it's a jazzy a jazzy I'll put I'll put a picture of the um, actual frame part of it that says it's a jazzy uh, 3000 or something like that I already took took off the wheel and uh, it's frozen it's uh, it got corroded got left outside and uh it's got you know, it's it's got corrosion inside so it's all locked up so i'm going to take it apart i'm going to take these off take this base off um and see what's going on Let's see if i can fix this okay that's it for now Arroyo JK out. Well, I managed to uh, take everything apart. That screw was rusted. It was rusted, so I was using an extractor and uh, popped off. It just broke off. But I was able to take it out. It was rusted right there, so I'm going to have to clean this off. I was able to take this one off, but I'm not going to use this. <clears throat> I had to clean this out, still had to clean it out a little more. Clean this out very good. If it was stuck, it would it wouldn't it wouldn't even budge. But uh, a little bit of um, I used uh, the uh, uh, brake brake parts cleaner and uh was able to take it out i'll clean it up real good this part looks okay um not that bad so what i'm going to end up doing <coughs> is either like taking drilling this out making this hole a little wider and I brought some of this some of this oil. what I'm gonna do is gonna put a nut on this side of the washer nut on the other side just gonna cut it a little longer so I'm able to use this and fasten it back up um, as soon as I clean it up this part is good so it does rotate so there's nothing wrong with this just gotta lubricate it the part was this was stuck so if you can see it's got some corrosion because water got into it but the the brushes are okay so it's not bad I should have this up and running again in a little while okay so that's that for now Oh, and I'm using this little wire brush to clean it out. All right. I cleaned the parts as best as I could. And um, I drilled out new holes to match the the uh, threaded, threaded wire I have here. That's stock, so. So it goes in pretty smooth. On both sides all 
I cleaned cleaned the mag the magnet housing as best as I could. Clean that the center part, right, the core. this part as best as I could okay so now we're gonna see now we're gonna see if uh, it works okay well I did a boo-boo have to learn by my mistakes um, I should have I should have left uh, this diameter of this hole smaller to be able to thread make new thread for this because this is supposed to screw screw into this part not go through it so now what I need to do to try to fix this is make this side this hole bigger so this sits inside flat it's got to be flat on the surface so it's got to be at least at least that that deeper a little deeper so I can screw that that other part in there there's no other way I can do this unless I get a a bigger diameter on this rod and then do do the threading on here but I already have this so I'll just I'll just go with that it's just it's just gonna be strong enough to keep everything together and uh, it should work. So, yep. Just learn by mistakes. Okay, here I have the uh, piece after um, drilling and uh, um, using the Dremel to open up the holes big enough for those nuts. I got them in pretty good. See, it works pretty good. But it's going to go in this way and it's going to thread. And the nut is bigger than the hole, so it's going to hold it in there. This is going to go on this part. And then this, this would go to the inside, and it will go right there. It'll screw in here, and I'll have a nut, a nut and a, and a uh, lock washer on this side. So that should that should work. Okay. And now this is this is loose, so now it's gonna now it's gonna work. It should have a working motor now. Okay, that's it for now. I'm gonna continue on. I got the hardware um, cut, the two threaded rods. The uh, more or less is the uh, size I need. So it's gonna have a little bit out, okay. So I'm gonna screw these in. Should go the other way around. Just like this. One side. The other side. It can't be, the thread cannot come out the other side. You just actually use the flat side on this. That could be, sticking out here but I'm gonna use the flat side over here and the flat side yeah the flatter side on this okay so it's gotta be in there like that 
Let's pass it like this. And now, I'm gonna go through there. To the holes on the other side. And I'm just gonna set this in, but I need to use both of my hands, so I'll be right back. After all this work I've done today, um, it's been quite hefty, I mean, trying to figure this out, but um, I've come down to the point where it's, uh, it's everything is all put together, and uh, this is just going to be a test. See if it works. All the hard labor. Okay, and here we go. I got the batteries hooked up. Gotta connect positive right there and let's see what happens. It's alive. All right, let's, let's uh, test the other side. Let's, let's um. Reverse polarity. Uh, it's kind of hard to do it one handed, but I can do it. Woohoo! It is alive. Now I can go into stage two, which is trying to figure out. Well, what, 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 put him everything back together and uh, trying to figure out what type of robot I'm gonna do but first of all I'm gonna um, put together put together the uh, control unit um, I don't know if I'm gonna use a regular um, RC controller or I'm gonna try to hook up a, a Wii a Wii nunchuck to an Arduino control it that way so I can hide the uh, new chuck in my pocket and that way people won't see me with a big remote but um, I'm happy it works okay I am happy um, did a couple of boo-boos I got a little scraped here cut um scrape up here but it, it's worth it it's a uh, it's part of the process all right a royal jk and uh tinkering department out take care